Welcome to Ada's Reading Corner. Hi, I'm Ada, your storyteller. Let's share the joy of reading and embrace the power of imagination, one enchanting story at a time. So visit with me on my YouTube channel and let the magic begin. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for notifications of new stories. Woo, woo, goes the train. Story and Illustrations by Anne Rockwell. Alan loved trains. His favorite toy was a little wooden train. He had train books and posters, as well as a CD of train noises. But Alan had never ridden on a real train. Alan made trains out of his cereal. He'd go, woo, woo, so that he sounded just like a train sometimes with his mouth full. He took his time getting dressed or getting ready for bed if he was pretending to be a semaphore. Every week, Alan went to the library to borrow books about trains. On the way was a train crossing. Alan always hoped the gate would be down. Clang, clang, the bell meant a train was coming. Sometimes a long freight train with box cars and shiny tanker cars came rolling and rumbling along. One day, Alan and his parents drove to a small building right next to the railroad tracks. A high-speed passenger train went wishing past. They were at the train station. Alan, get ready for your first train ride, said Dad. Woo, woo, Alan couldn't wait. Dad bought tickets. Alan wiggled on the bench, but he held tight to his ticket. When is the train coming? He asked again and again. It's almost time, said his mom. Then it was time. Everyone went outside. A passenger train slowed down and came to a stop. Whoosh! The door slid open and the conductor stepped out. All aboard, he cried. As soon as everyone got on the train, the door slid shut and the engine started up. Alan saw a sign for a bathroom at the end of the car. He wanted to go. He's never been to the bathroom on the train. When he and his dad came back from the bathroom, the conductor punched a hole in Alan's ticket. This is my first train ride, Alan told him proudly. Good for you, said the conductor. Clickety-clack. The train went past the crossing. Alan waved to the people waiting for the train to pass. He watched the buildings race by his window. Below the tracks, cars drove underneath a railroad bridge. Suddenly, everything was black. The train was going through a tunnel. When the train rolled out of the tunnel, Alan saw blue sky, white clouds, and cows in a green field. The train went faster and faster. It crossed a long, long bridge over a river. A freight train going in the opposite direction passed them. Alan and his mom went to the snack car. They pushed the door between the cars. Swish, it slid open. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack. Walking between the cars was noisy and shaky and exciting. The snack car smelled yummy. A mixture of popcorn and hot dogs. As Alan ate his hot dog and popcorn, his dad closed his eyes and went to sleep. Alan's mother read her book, but Alan was having fun watching things whiz by his window. When the train slowed down and stopped, Alan's dad jumped up. Alan was sad that the train ride had ended. He could have gone on riding all day and all night. And then, everywhere he looked, Alan saw trains going this way and that, going woo-woo and clickety-clack. They were at train land. Alan rode the old-fashioned steam locomotive first. That was his favorite. He was very, very happy. Climb aboard a railroad adventure from the Arthur of Fire Engines. 
the end of woo woo goes the train. Thanks for listening. And if you enjoyed the story, then go ahead and hit that like button for me. And subscribe to my channel for notification of new stories.